things you have to think about when you're doing cropping is your resolution and your output size. If you're going to do black and white, apart from picking the size you're going to print at, you've also got to decide on the resolution. And as a good guide, I would suggest you print at 200 dots per inch. Now, if you go too big and put more pixels in per, per inch, all you're doing is making the file size bigger. And what you want to do is keep it as minimal as possible. Now, quality is also an issue. And obviously, the more pixels per inch that you get on the paper, then the better the quality. But there has got to be a compromise. Because if you're going to store the files, then you want smaller files. So what we're going to do here, we're going to crop this picture. And as a demonstration, we're going to select the crop tool. And then we're going up to the... Uh, window boxes for the sizing and we're going to put six inches in this uh, width and five inches in this height. And at the moment I have a resolution showing as 200. So I'm going to change this to 100 and now I'm going to select an area I'll zoom out on this and OK that. And as you can see at the bottom here, just zoom in on it, you will see that we have an area, a size, a document size of 878.9 kilobytes, which is quite small. So we're going to undo that and go back to the original size. And we're going to go up and change the resolution. And I'm going to put, make it up to 300 dots per inch this time, or pixels per inch. I'm always used to calling them dots per inch. And I'm going to draw another rectangular box and OK that. And as you see, it comes in quite big. So we reduce the size here. And as you can see at the bottom here, it tells me that is 7.29. So it is important that you don't make it too big. Otherwise, you have these enormous file sizes.